Hello everyone and welcome back to Acting. This week what we're going to do is continue our work with action and the next exercise is all about you using action to make your acting better and for you to experience what it feels like to do something as opposed to pretending to do something. Wait, what does that mean? Well, let's go over that. Have you ever watched a play or a film and you watch somebody pretending to do something but they're not actually doing it? I think one of the most one of the most common things is somebody cleaning. Have you ever watched somebody with a broom and they're moving the broom but they're not actually sweeping? As James Bond is temporarily eclipsed by a man trying his best to look busy and utterly failing at it. Like you have a broom, you have a floor. Why are you not sweeping? Like actually sweep. If you can actually do something, do it. But don't pretend to do something because that is so frustrating. Nothing about what you're doing is real if you're not actually finishing or completing that thing. If you have a broom and you have a floor, actually sweep it up. Actually do the thing that you are supposed to be doing, right? Now, what we're going to do this week is I want you to do two separate things. The first thing that I want you to do is I want you to pick an object, hide it somewhere in your room, and then I want you to hit record for one minute and I want you to pretend to look for it. That's it. Just pretend to look for it for one minute. At the end, you can find it or you cannot find it. That's up to you. And then you're going to save that recording. The next thing that I want you to do is I want you to go and pick a member of your household or a friend and have them hide the object somewhere in your room, set your timer and see if you can find it within one minute. See, one of them you are going to be pretending to look for something. And the second one is you're going to be actually looking for it. And I want you to record them so you can, this is going to serve two purposes. One, you're going to be able to feel the difference between pretending to do something and actually doing it. And the second thing is you're going to be able to see, like actually see the difference between pretending to do something and actually doing it. If it helps, give yourself a consequence. Give yourself a super objective. I need to find this or I will lose blank. If you give yourself some stakes, you're going to really fight for that thing. But the difference is looking for something versus pretending to look for something. This is even used in Stanislavski's book where the, the teacher brings up a student and has the student hide a brooch. And the student pretends to look for the brooch and it's really, really boring. Everyone in the class is tired and they don't like it. But then the teacher has that student leave. The teacher hides it. And when the student comes back in, the teacher says, okay, you're you are to find this in the next three minutes or you're kicked out of the class. Well, now that there's stakes and the student doesn't actually know where it is, the student's freaking out looking for this object. And as they're looking for this object, the audience is pulled in. Why? Because they're aware of the stakes and they're watching something real happen in front of them. Your job is to experience the same thing. So what you're going to do is just that. You're going to hide something and pretend to look for it. Then you're going to have somebody else hide it for you. Give yourself stakes if you need, and then look for it. Record both and upload both. And let's see if we can tell the difference. Maybe you're so good at acting, we can't tell the difference. Or maybe, just maybe, and what will probably happen is you'll experience what it feels like to actually do something instead of pretending. All right, everyone. I can't wait to see your videos, and I'll see you soon.